lives in Yanmen village, Luxi County. The Kang Kiwan family in this century Liliotic old house got busy. This day is Kang Kiwan's mother's 90th birthday. For this family of five generations, celebrating an old mother's birthday is a big deal. Yanmen village has a rule. People don't live long before the age of 70. Only after the age of 70 do you have a birthday. People under the age of 70 have never been considered old people. The old man Li Yuju has three sons and one daughter. Now the great-grandchildren have children. The children and grandchildren add up to a total of 32. 30 old whether you are around or not. So the old man lived happily. Seeing the children and grandchildren busy inside and I can't and do out. it myself. The old man Li Yuju picked up some clothes. Come to the stream in front of the village. But the old man who has worked hard all his life. Do what you can do every day. You can see lazily and happy old people everywhere. They play chess by the stream. Play cards in the old house and enjoy the warmth in the sun. Or in the fields. Hard work in front of and behind the house. An ancient village with a history of 646 years. Now there are only more than 420 people in the village. One of them is 103 years old. 18 people over the age of 90. There are as many as 60 people aged 70 to 90. It is the village with the most longevity. Elderly people there are so in nearby many villages. Old people in a small mountain village. In addition to the good natural environment here. Green and pollution free vegetable food outside. It has been passed down for hundreds Father of years. Father loving son filial brother friend respectful. The juniors are filial, respect and love Let the Let the old people live comfortably and happily. Yanmen village has historically been a traffic artery. The geographical in location the southwest is very special and important. The first year of Honglu in the Ming dynasty is 1368 AD. To the 24th AD. year of Wanli, that is 1596 AD. Over a period of 228 it years. It used to be a military garrison. There are 50 for Ming and Qing buildings preserved in the village. The most complete of these is the Kang family courtyard. There are 103 households in Yanmen Except village. Except for the two son-in-law who came to the door. The they children are also of the two son-in-laws. According to local customs, the last name is Kang. That is to say, in Yanmen Almost village. Almost 100% are descendants of the Kang family. According to the Kang family The Kang records, family of Yanmen village in the first year of Hongwu. In the Ming dynasty. Moved from Wanan County, Jiangxi province to Chengxi County. Later moved, moved on to province. Kangjia, Pushi Town. Luxi County. The 31st year of Hongwu in Ming Dynasty is 1398 AD. Kang's five brothers' separation. The eldest son Kang Leon moved to Yanmen village with his parents. The Luodan ancestor of the Kang family in Yanmen village. It is village. still circulated in the, the village. The story of Kang's ancestors moving to Yanmen. At that time, in order to satisfy his old parents, Specially Kang invited Leon a Feng Shui mister from a stream along the Yuan River in Pu City. Go up the stream and visit nearby geomantic treasures. I saw towering ancient trees on both sides of the strait. Monkeys bend of singing and birds bend singing. Around, like a jade dragon heading straight to Yuan Jiang. Mr. Feng Shui shouted that it is really a treasure of Feng Shui. So Kang Leon and his parents abandoned the boat and went to so shore. So I chose Yanmen village as my home. After hundreds of years of Kang's multiplication, Kang Leon himself is a duty The fields son. and houses of Kang Jialong were abandoned at the beginning. I don't like Kang Jialong and have to move out. Come to this barren land to take root. How to make him this branch? Fireworks continue, blood continues. With his parents in the church, Kang Leon naturally thought of so he filial gave piety, to his descendants. established a life of filial piety. Family rules that keep the family thriving. This plaque is said to be from the reign the of Emperor Daguan, birthday of a member of the Kang sent clan. Sent by local officials. Shaka is not only a blessing for the old man's birthday. 
It is also a compliment to Kang's family style of filial now piety. Now this plaque is the name of the Kang family in Yanmei Village. The historical village. testimony of pure filial piety as Jiangxi Prefecture of Hunan Province, a leader in archaeology. Mr. Long Jingshou on the traditional ancient villages in, in Western this Hunan built in the Qianjia period of the Qing Dynasty. He introduced us to the layout of the hall and in these carved fences contains the core concept of family culture. It looks very closed around. In fact, in its home, you can see. It's transparent from anywhere, right? Can go out from anywhere. Above this you see the railing of the swastika. Look at the railing of the swastika. That's what it means. It means eternal life. We just learned from those lintels, didn't we? Find us from just those now beam from heads we those those building are. structures see. All embodies filial piety first. Courtesy is the most important filial traditional piety along the way from outside to inside. It can be said that it has been shown to us living in such an environment. Ubiquitous from birth. Loyalty and filial piety concept wrapping and it's natural dipping. to treat relatives and relatives. Conscious behavior of becoming a descendant of the Kang family. In Yanmen village. Bo. Bo. I wish my mother a blessing like these China Sea. Full of Shu children Nanshan. and grandchildren in good health. Li Yuju's birthday banquet was held at noon. The children and grandchildren of Trostrashim. Before the birthday banquet. I wish the elderly a long and healthy life. Have three sons and one daughter. All descendants add up to 32 people. Because the youngest son of the old man and some and grandchildren his family are in other grandsons are working outside. So only some of her children and grandchildren are celebrating her birthday. Living with the Hildost son Kang Kiwen. Kang Kiwen is 68 years old and just became a great grandfather. Baby in this arms is his great grandson. There is a rule in Yanmen village. To celebrate the birthday that must of the be a elderly, banquet. the respected elders in the village, to express respect and blessings to all the elderly. Most of the people here are village elders invited by Kang Kiwen. Old people gather together, sharing the blessings of the younger generation. After the luncheon, the birthday party is not Kang over. Kiwen also returned the from theater the camp. troupe is invited. It's his mother's favorite song. Chin Go Kiang is a traditional local opera. National intangible cultural heritage has a history of hundreds of years. Xiong Minkian, the inheritor of Chen Go Kiang. Chen high pitched drama at the end of the Yuan dynasty already we had here. a large scale performance. The first performance was Yumulian Opera, performed here as a large scale play. Has continued until now. Plays in progress. It is the Mulian Opera. The mother opera of Chen Go Kiang. Mulian rescue mother in the Buddhist scripture. The story of Mulian saves Very mother. popular in China. The theme of Mulian opera is loyalty. Filial piety so and what righteousness. So are we mainly playing now? It is based on filial piety within one content, one chapter. The two officials hope that you will be kind. Let me go home mother and son for a while. Mulian's mother is stingy and greedy. After death, he was thrown into hell, punished by torture. In order to save his mother in hell, Mulian, become a monk and practice supernatural came powers, came to hell to visit her suffering mother. While serving mother to eat, unexpectedly, the food has not yet reached the mother's mouth. Seeing this, Mulian was distraught, so he begged Buddha to be merciful to save his mother. His mother relied on the strength of one person. You must rely on the strength of the monks from the ten directions. Mulian to followed save. the Buddha's instructions. Set up the Minglun Basin on July 15th. Ask all the monks from the ten directions to save my Finally mother. Finally freed my mother from the sea of suffering. And entered heaven. 
The play of Mili and Sage's mother is 93 year old Kang Maofu's drama addiction. Although the old man can't sing but very devoted, he also sang Mili and Sage's mother. He said he listened to this play since he I was a child. I can recite every line of the libretto one. The old man Kang Maofu also told Mulian us Mulian Opera Yanmen Village performs once a year. That was in June year. Mulian Rescue Mother in June. This is the rule set by Kang's ancestors. They have always abided by this rule. The ancestors of the Kang family set the June year. The purpose of performing Mulian saves in the form of art for future generations. Revisit the family rules and training of filial piety every subtly year. Subtly influence the culture Into of the blood of future piety. generations. Endlessly endless. June year is a unique custom here. Has been followed for hundreds of years. A sacrificial festival. Every year, the first day after Shanshu. That is, the snake day is the opening day. Also called June year, June year. People walking out from Yanmen village come back no matter where you are. Participate in commemoration of Beidi Tian Wong. This place called temple actually an altar. Long-term research on local history Yu and culture introduces every year in June. It is here that sacrificial activities are held. This is the throne of the heavenly king Beidi. It's the spirit seat of Beidi Tian Wong. Temples like this are built everywhere held in June every year. Come to worship him in this Beidi Tian Wong temple. The so-called White Emperor and Heavenly King and the are formation of the three June brothers. It originated from the story of three brothers visiting their mother thousands of miles away. In the Ming Dynasty, there are three brothers in Xiongxi. All three brothers are skilled in martial arts, were chosen by the court. in a campaign in the battle of foreign invasion all three brothers have made great contributions after winning the battle the three brothers received Knowing a that letter from home. mother at home the three brothers are very anxious so he asked the emperor to return to his hometown to visit the emperor was grateful for the filial piety of the three brothers and gave the three brothers a pot of royal wine to express condolences in order to be able to rush to mother's bed as soon as Three possible brothers non -stop day to fulfill and night. my filial piety. When walking to Pushy Town, Luxy County, the three of them were already exhausted from running around due for to days. extreme weakness, so got malaria. After the illness, the three brothers Instead, did not stop he treating dragged his sick body and continued to rush home. The old mother is looking forward to their return. If stopped to heal, maybe I'll never see my dying mother again. Finally, before my mother passed away, they rushed to the mother's bed. The story of three brothers visiting their mother it has been circulated thousands locally of miles. for hundreds of years. There are even some villages and streams and it mountains. It is also named after the story of the three brothers. This village is called Dalan, the name of Dalan. It is named after the story of the three brothers. After the three brothers got sick, it's no longer possible to go here. Head drooping, drooping. So what about Chala? Hence the place was later named Chala. Because of our place, this drooping is the same as Doyen. Transliterated from Chara to Dalan. Locals mourn the three brothers. The filial piety of visiting my mother thousands of miles away. For the three brothers, zero named Sanha Temple. And every June, ceremony to honor the three brothers. Later, Jioking Emperor Xionfeng of the Qing Dynasty in memory of the loyalty and filial piety of Imperially the Imperially titled by De Wong. So the local Sanhao Temple. It was changed to Beidi Tianwang Temple. It is the sacrificial ceremony of the June year. Feeling sorry for the three brothers. Visiting Even after their being mother seriously of miles away. Filial piety. That still hasn't is the most important event in June. Everyone in front of Dalta looked solemn. Because filial piety is sacred in their hearts. There is another important content of pork. 
The whole village is calculated on the basis of how many of families household. put pork. Divide into how many shares and distribute by lot. But there is a place for the meat on the pig. It is not within this distribution principle. Since the tenderloin is the most tender part of the pork, so give it to the oldest old man in the village to show respect and respect for the elderly. Delivering meat to the oldest old man in, in the, the village, patch, it was sent by the patron. Now it is sent by King Kiwan, director of the village committee. We kill pigs in the village. This best meat is for you. The old man's name is Kang Kiwan, born in 1911. 103 years old this year, is the oldest in the village. The old man is still a war veteran. Participated in a correspondence regiment after the, of the National of the Revolutionary Army. War. He retired and returned to his hometown the to work man in agriculture. Looks hale and hearty. In addition to being deaf, the body is still quite strong. Kang Kiwan has three sons. From the day my son got married, I have been living with my son. The youngest son in his 40s 10 years ago. Afterwards, he was taken care of by his youngest daughter. Grandpa Bao wants to eat dumplings. This is the old man named Kang The Chi. youngest daughter-in-law is Li Qingxiong, over 50 years old. On her back is her grandson. Come and take it slow, use it slowly dumplings. Well, I eat, you eat dumplings. The old man's teeth Babies are not very should good. not eat the same as adults. Li Chengxiong in the old no and less young. Way. about three meals a day. Often three people cook three different meals. Make dumplings softer for grandpa. Oh, this is what grandpa ate. Both grandpa and grandson have to cook Everything alone. is different, this. We eat hard vegetables. It's really not easy to do this every day. But it's because you bother so much. You see, Grandpa is in it's good okay health. It's okay to eat this dumpling by yourself. I hope he is in good health. Grandpa, we see that your body is very good. What do you think of the taste? Is it delicious? Is it fragrant? It's just that I'm getting old and my hearing is not very good. Since the son and daughter-in-law are all working outside, the burden outside, of the family falls on Li Chengxiong alone. In addition to taking care of the old there and is still young. a lot of work at home. Father-in-law has three sons. One of them is in the village. But after the death of her husband, Li Chengxiong did not dump the old man to his brother. Instead, continue to bear the duty of caring for the elderly. Under the care of Li Chengxiong, the 103 year old Kang Kiwan fully enjoy is an the old children man and grandchildren. The happy time brought by Cheng Huang's niece. Li Chengxiong's acts of filial piety touched many people, but she felt what you do is normal. Is there such a tradition in my village? Many people in the village also take care my of the elderly. My family is nothing. Li Qingxiong's filial piety towards her, her daughter-in-law Li Qingping sought in mind. You are good to the then previous the next generation. generation. will remember it like this. I remember very deeply. I will treat you well in the future. Your mother-in-law still has a great influence on you. There are five human relations in Yanmen village. Loyalty and filial piety come first. In the silent practice of generation after generation. Inherited. This day, the Kang family courtyard is very solemn. For the descendants of Yanmen village, there is going to be an important event here. Put the family rules and training on the wall again in front of the wall. We also need to carry out incense worship to inform the ancestors. This is Kang family courtyard, the largest hall. It is also the most important meeting place. No matter the big or small things in the family, family, old uncle. Therefore, and their family rules I just and family here to training. have fun, hopeless. They work together, and work together. fighting the fire, getting anxious for disaster. Our rules are nailed to the wall. Yes, our ancestors were. 
nailed the house rules to the wall. The descendants of future generations, don't forget this house rule. What about the house rules on this wall? That house rule is old. Some characters have been lost for hundreds of years. Replace it with a new one. Look at your first article. Makai Dharma Consciousness Human Relations have five loyalty. And loyalty filial and piety filial as piety the, first, come the first. first item in Kang's loyalty family Loyalty and martyr. filial piety come first. It is precisely because the ancestors attached great importance. Only then did Yan Men Many filial stories piety about word. dutiful sons. Say goodness and filial piety first. Famous biography of descendants of filial piety. People in Yanmen village have been Start born listening since. to this song. When I was five or six years old, I would the recite. The ballad tells the story of crossing the stream. With one's this mother on one's has back. been circulated locally for more than 200 years. Among the ancestors of the Kang family was Kang Jiran. After being elected, he became an official in the because county he government. Is fair and honest. Did a lot of good things for the common people. So deeply loved by the people. Later his old mother went blind. So Kang Jiren resigned and returned home, staying at home to take care of mother. Serving tea and sending meals, asking for warmth. Back then there was no bridge Only over in the river. every three or two steps in the stream. The locals call it jumping rock bridge. Kang Jiren's mother likes to go back to her Natal every home. Every time mother returns to her Natal home. It's all Kang home. Jiren's back. Going back to my mother's house. I have Kang to cross Jiren the was afraid of bumping his mother when he just crossed wading the through the water. Bridge. No matter the severe winter when the villagers or hostile saw him doing this, they all followed suit. Every time I carry an old man on my back, I soon have to wade across a good the story river to carry mother across the stream. Kang Jiren's filial piety also in younger brother to. who is an official. Big brother did the job of taking care of the I can't mother. be filial before bed. Then do your filial piety to your hometown parents. So the second brother Kang Ji invested in the repair a wooden of a bridge with a length of 30 meters and a width of 2 meters. Ended the history of villagers jumping over the rock bridge. Little brother is not to be outdone. I did a good deed bigger than my second brother. The younger brother repaired the pier. Fix that pier. They do the laundry, the vegetables, Children. take a bath in the river, all on this pier. Pure loyalty and pure filial piety. There is are the many family motto of the Kang family stories to generation. Filial piety and good deeds influence handed down. the descendants of the Kang family. Regulate their behavior. The family tradition of filial piety in Yanmen village. The power of the example continues of the to this day. Obsessed with since childhood. The Kang family has special punishment. In Kang's family rules, there is, if there is any disobedience, the terms of whipping. Spread in Yanmen village, the story of a monk's garden. There is a man named Kang Shinki. At the age of 10, I had to be fed by my if mother. If you take a short path, you have to embrace it. Excessive if you take doting a long led path, to Kang Shen, you have Grumpy to carry it on your wheel. back. Woofing off as an adult, often in a bad mood. Just take out my mother's anger and keep beating and scolding Often with sticks, fists and kicks. The tribe is really intolerable. Take Kang Shin Ki to the clan ancestral hall. Kicked out of the village. His mother was supported by the tribe in turn. After Kang Shin Ki's mother died, the villagers cheered for Kang Shin Ki. Build a house outside the village. Let him reflect on his unfilial behavior. Unfilial son Kang gave birth to his mother after his mother died. Unfilial behavior. In this humble hut, repenting of one's unfilial deeds, pray for the dead mother. Rescue mother's undad. It is called the monk's garden. By the descendants of the Kang family, Later, he himself went to. He died in this garden. Villagers according to his own wishes. Let this place be his grave. Everyone calls it Monk Garden. 
that's how it is. He has no offspring, no offspring. This monk's garden is now a place also. to warn future generations. Well, so from now on our children still have and to grandchildren. be filial to adults and loyal to so the country. So we attach great importance to this etiquette here. From Kangxinqi to now, the Kang family in Yanmen village has passed 11 generations. The monk garden ruins have also been preserved for 11 generations. The story generations. of Jun's filial son has also been told for 11 generations. The old people of Yanmen enjoy village. family culture, the warmth and calmness brought to them. Happy old age. A long history of wind, frost, washed rain away and the snow. grandeur of the Kang family courtyard, but it can't wash away Yanmen village. A long-standing family culture of loyalty, purity, and filial piety.